Hi, I'm Murphy Limon, OM Tech Laser Support Specialist. The Emergency Stop button is a critical safety feature in any CO2 laser machine, also called the E-Stop. It acts as a kill switch and it immediately shuts off the entire machine in urgent situations. If your E-Stop is not working properly, you won't have that extra protection if an emergency does happen. Today, I'll show you how to replace the E-Stop on your CO2 laser machine. To replace the Emergency Stop button, all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a good pair of hands. Once you have those ready, we'll get started with the first step. Turn off the machine and unplug the power cord. Open the right side access panel and locate the bottom of the e-stop in the top left corner. Now, we'll remove the base of the e-stop. Find the white button on the side of the e-stop and press it in while pulling down on the base. Then, use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws that hold the red wires in place and slide the wires out. On the top half, a plastic nut holds the e-stop button in place. Unscrew it and remove the button above. Now we can get the new e-stop installed. Mount the new e-stop button in place and screw it in tightly with the plastic nut. Then slide the red wires into the base and secure them with the screws. Now insert the base into the button, but don't force it. Rotate it until you find the correct orientation to slide it in. Make sure the wires are organized and close the access panel. Now we can test out the new e-stop. Turn on your laser machine and run a test design on an expendable workpiece. After the laser starts firing, press the e-stop button all the way down and make sure the entire laser machine shuts off immediately, including the laser tube and the control panel. If your e-stop is still not working properly, give us a call and I'll be happy to help. With a new emergency stop button, you can safely run your laser again if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. That's all for now. Thanks for watching this OMTech install.